Michael Cohen just pleaded guilty to a supposed campaign finance violation. Many are claiming this poses uh, problems for the, the president, uh, but the problem for the U.S. Attorney's Office is hush money payments to mistresses are not considered a campaign related expense. And if it were, there are many, many members of Congress who are in potential trouble because according to uh, reports last year, at least $17 million in taxpayer funds have been used to pay off harassment claims against members of Congress. Hi, I'm Hans von Spakovsky. I'm a senior legal fellow at the Heritage Foundation, but I also spent two years as a commissioner at the Federal Election Commission. That's the federal agency responsible for enforcing the Federal Election Campaign Act, which regulates uh, how uh, candidates for federal office raise and spend money. The supposed campaign finance violation that the uh, U.S. Attorney's Office in New York is claiming uh, is actually not a violation of campaign finance laws. Here's why. Uh, in order for the rules to apply, it has to be a campaign-related expense. Um, the Justice Department only once before has tried to claim that these kind of payments are a campaign-related expense. That's when they attempted to prosecute John Edwards. Remember that case? Uh, contributors to John Edwards actually paid money to his mistress, uh, who actually was working for the campaign and had his child. Uh, a jury did not believe these were campaign-related expenses, and in fact, John Edwards had two former commissioners of the FEC there to testify these were not campaign-related expenses. In fact, when the FEC audited his campaign, the agency itself concluded these were not campaign-related expenses. So this really uh, is not a problem for the president, even though Michael Cohen is pleading guilty to this, because the U.S. Attorney's Office is basically being over-aggressive on this issue. If you take their views to its extreme, it would mean that any time a candidate uh, pays off a uh, legal claim against it, that's a campaign-related expense. Well, if that's the case, remember in 2017 it was reported that members of Congress have paid over $17 million to pay off almost 300 claims made against those members of Congress for sexual harassment and other claims like that. Uh, if the U.S. Attorney's Office is right, then all of those would be campaign-related expenses. Why? Because uh, those payments were meant to silence the people making the claim so that the candidates would not be embarrassed. And obviously there's potential violations of campaign finance law. Why? Because taxpayer money was used to pay off a campaign-related expense. That just shows um, how irrational the view is of the U.S. Attorney uh, in the Southern District of New York and for how far outside it is of uh, the usual view of campaign finance law and violations under it.